Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in palette week where every single day for seven days straight, I am posting some sort of palette themed content. I just got done filming my video. Um, if I could only choose one palette to keep from every brand, I literally have changed my shirt, but everything else is the same. Like I literally just got done filming that video. And now I'm going to rank all of the palettes that I decided to keep from my <laughs> worst to best if you will or like care about keeping the least to the most i don't know if i'm making any sense at all but all the palettes i decided to keep from each brand if i could only keep one palette i am now ranking all of those palettes which is which i believe if i'm counting correctly which i never do is 26 palettes so i will be ranking them all for you today it was really tough like really really difficult and i know it's not that deep but it was like mm. Some of these I was like, I don't know to put it. Like, I think because I really obviously like all of these palettes because they were the palettes that I choose to keep if I could literally only keep one from each brand in my collection. So if you want to know how to rank them, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's get into the ranking video. I'm sure inevitably at some point in this um, filming process, my camera battery is going to die and it's going to annoy the crap out of me because I would like to just get through this. And then I'm going to the pool. I'm going to the pool. It's sunny, but it's also supposed to rain in a little bit. So I kind of want to like, I want to get, I want to get my tan going on. I'm currently reading Daisy, jo not Daisy Jones. Oh my gosh. Daisy hates the great undoing the fourth book in the Magnolia Park series. I'm so excited to continue on reading that. If you guys have read it, let me know your thoughts without spoilers in the comments below. Also, if you have any palette themed content you'd like to see from me, let a girl know. Let's start with my least ranked palette, the one I would care about keeping the least, uh, ColourPop Quad in Creamsicle. Mostly because it's just like, it's four shades and a lot of these palettes are larger and have more shades. So I also have like, I could take it or leave it. I could take it or leave it. I am going to film my palette declutter at some point today and I want to get rid of some. I want to get rid of some, so I should be like really paying attention to the, sh the to the thoughts up in here about each of these palettes. Okay, next up, I'm sorry to say, but the Lawless, the Glam one. I don't know if it's because I had such a terrible experience with the Lavender one palette that now I'm just like meh, because I used to really enjoy this palette. And granted, this is the one I would keep out of the three Lawless palettes that I have, but um, I care about it a lot less than I care about some of the other palettes that I'm ranking. Then I have Urban Decay Stone Vibes. I do like this palette quite a bit, but it's getting older in my collection. And it's a palette that is more of a companion palette. Like I'm gonna be pairing this with other palettes and some of the other palettes that I'm keeping, I can definitely create full looks from a lot easier. So that's why I'm ranking this one towards the bottom. Then I have Kaja Peach Madeline, the stack. I really like the Kaja stacks, but again, only has three shades, so. I, you know, I was thinking through that, but I do really love this stack, especially if you were looking for like a fun peach moment, like a very simple, fun, intense, yet easy, quick peach moment. Peach Madeline's where it's at. Next, I have Pat McGrath Interstellar Icon, the quad. Really love this palette, really do. I love all four shades, um, but there's only four shades. So, and it's a companion palette as well. Next up, we have the Aether Beauty Summer Solstice palette. I actually really do enjoy this palette quite a bit. Um, and this is a look that, this is a palette that I can create a full look with and have no problem doing that. I just, I really love so many of the other palettes that I'm ranking in this video that it was hard for me to rank this one above any of the other ones. It's also been in my collection not that long because my sister just gave that palette to me. Next, I have the Alter Ego Artemis palette. I do love the color story in this palette, um, but maybe I just haven't played around with this one enough or played around with it in a while. I'm just feeling more attached to some of my other palettes. So that's why I'm ranking this one a little bit lower. I will say though, for the fall time, I literally can't wait to reach into this palette. This is a palette I really should do like no pan left behind style so that I can really try and see what creative looks I can create using a number of the shadows within this palette because I feel like oftentimes I've just reached into this for a few shades and I really as a whole haven't used the palette to create 
a lot of looks. So my, maybe my opinion will change and this will become more of a favorite, but as of right now, this one is ranking a little bit lower. Then I have my Melt Smoke Sh Sessions palette. And the reason for this is this is definitely a companion palette for me. I don't like the two matte shades in this palette. I do love the rest of the greens, but it's just not a palette that I would be reaching for that frequently. And again, really just reaching into this for like one to two shades at a time. I cannot wait to have fun utilizing some of these metallic shades as a nail polish as I have gotten more into using um, eyeshadow as nail polish, but I just have like a lot of the other palettes ranking above this. There's just more value in them because I'm, I can use more shades at a time just in the way that I do my makeup. Like obviously maybe you use this whole palette to create one look, but that is not the way that my mind works when I reach into that palette. Then I have my Nabla Cutie Platinum Palette. I do love this palette. I think it is absolutely stunning, but you do only have six shades and it's a very specific look or a few looks that can be created, at least for me, out of this palette. I do love these uh, shades. I think the metallics in this palette are so intense, metallic, foiled, and beautiful, but I just feel limited by the number of shades, especially having just two deeper mattes. So. This one is also ranking a bit lower. Then I have my Dose of Colors Frenkation palette, and this one's ranking lower just because it's older in my collection. I feel like I've used this quite a bit and maybe just feeling a little less inspired by this palette as I am some of my others. I also feel like my makeup preferences and my eyeshadow preferences are changing. I'm definitely loving like a sparklier lid. I'm thinking like Lauren made beauty vibes and also just like more pops of color. So this one is ranking a little bit lower, but I do still really love this palette. Y'all know this is my go-to country concert palette. So still love it. Then I have the Huda Beauty Wild Python palette, and I haven't reached for this one in quite some time, but it is like these three shades I really love. I have like my perfect neutral mid-tone in deep uh, warm brown. Also a really fun green gold shade. I do think this like seafoam green is also really pretty. And then the lime green. I need to pull this out to play around with this some this summer, but I haven't been keeping track of the actual number where we're at. That one is ranking. <laughs> where it's at. I'm such a great YouTuber. Number 15, I have my Sigma Corderosa. I absolutely love this palette in the summertime. Love it for a coral, orangey, warm moment. But this is a very seasonal palette for me. I don't reach for this much outside of the spring and summertime. So that's why this one's ranking at number 15. I do still think this is an absolutely gorgeous palette. Love this one so much and so happy to have this in my collection, but just not an all time just, just loving some of these others just a wee bit more. Then I have the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. We all know this palette holds a place near and dear to my heart. My only gripe with this palette is I do feel a little bit limited with the matte shades. It's just not matte shades that I personally gravita gravitate towards for the most part. They're more like purple pink leaning, um, but I love this palette for the shimmers and the metallics and the different textures amongst those shades and just how intense and stunning and beautiful they are on the shade on the eyes. Um, I love the shade Gold Glitch as well as Galaxy um, Supernova. I feel like I could get some good use out of and hit pan on that pretty soon. This is a palette I really do want to hit pan on this year. So need to need to focus on that one a little bit more but that would be my number 14 coming in at number 13 i have my abh nueva palette nuevo i surprised myself by not keeping the abh jackie palette but overall this color story is just speaking to me more than the abh jackie and i feel like i can do more with this palette and i feel more creatively inspired when reaching into this palette i love all of the shimmer and metallic shades in this palette i just think they're really kind of like kind of not like super unique but they just they're so pretty like they're pretty stunning gorgeous shades and i have enjoyed this palette quite a bit so that's my number 13 coming out number 12 is a new palette to my collection this year it's actually the palette that i'm wearing on my eyes but i love this one from too faced you guys it was basically from 12 on up like it was so challenging to rank and to like kind of decide and I like I could wake up tomorrow and I would rank these totally different, but um, love the color story. There are so many different combinations that you can do with this palette. There are some lid toppers, but then you also have some of these like stickier metallics that are super intense and super metallic and super foiled on the eyes. I have been super impressed with the quality in this palette. I think the mattes blend really well. And I also think that the all of the metallics work really well on the eyes as well. Very impressed with this one from Too Faced. I feel really 
creative and inspired when reaching into this palette i think there's a ton of options and if you guys have been like if you have your eye on this palette i highly recommend this one from too faced okay coming in at number i think we're at number 11 i have my glam light ice cream dream palette i have really been falling in love more and more with this palette and just Every time I look into this, I have like a new shade that I want to reach for or a new look that I want to create. I really want to do something with this red, red velvet shade. I'm feeling so inspired by that shade, but I also absolutely love the Glam Light metallic formula. In fact, I keep mentioning because I, I filmed three videos now today. I have the shade um, Birthday Cake as my nail polish right now. And I absolutely love it. So I can't wait to play around with some of these other shades as a nail polish as well. And if I'm just wanting to have fun with co color, this is such a go-to palette just because there's so many different options. I don't have these shades in other palettes in my collection. So love that from Glam Light. My number 10 is a palette that I have not reached for much at all, but I just feel like these shades are so unique to my collection and so beautiful. I need to reach for this palette more. It's the Adept Cos Cosmetics Ninhadrin. Ninadrin palette? Don't know how to pronounce it. Um, really, why haven't I used this that much? This is my number 10, even though I haven't used it. It's like, it's so aesthetically appealing to the eyes that it just deserves a number 10 spot. Coming in, coming in at number nine, I have my NARS Summer Solstice. The palette, the NARS palette that made me fall in love with NARS. Love this for the summer, but also like it's a nine pan palette that you're gonna get very similar looks every time that you create a look from this palette. I love the looks that I create, but they're very similar. I love these two lid topper shades. They're very thin on the eyes and they don't make my eyelids look like crepey or heavy just so pretty i think the two matte browns are like my perfect warm matte browns so i love this one from nars very it was very hard for me to put that one in the number nine spot because i do really love that one um but coming in at number eight i have my pat mcgrath bronze seduction palette also love this palette so so much i fall in love with this palette every a little bit more every single time that i use it um just i don't even like just such fun interesting unique shimmery sparkly just Mm, goodness i if ever i'm wearing a green look and it like is just looking like a wee bit dull to me i will just pop just the smallest amount of this shade right here onto the eyes and it fixes everything and i love this palette for that i also love this gold shade is one of my favorite golds this like metallic pink on the eyes is so sparkly and so pretty i love it so much and then you also have some brown shades which you know love me love me a matte brown in a palette coming in at number seven i have this one from odin's eye and it pained me to like rank odin's eye <laughs> so so low if you will as well um but i was really think like my top three palettes are just like they're comfort palettes like i don't have to think about it when i reach into them and when i think about like every day day-to-day -day use like that is what i'm looking for now if i'm looking to have fun my top three wouldn't be my top three but i love this palette from odin's eye when i filmed my video that i filmed before this i was like oh there's so many shades in here that i need to try creating a nail polish with the first being the shade bless right here like this hot pink in the summer it needs to happen tonight it needs to happen tonight i need to try that you do have like a warm brown, a warm mid-tone brown. And then you have, I do really like the shade um, Hot Cocoa as well. It's like a, kind of like a burgundy brown. The mattes blend really well. All of the mattes, the only matte I don't think I've used, I don't think I've reached for the shade point setup. I just, I never, like a matte red or a red in general is just not a shade of eyeshadow I'm ever using. And I'm okay, like I'm at peace with not... <laughs> using them um but oh, the shade new year i also think would be such a beautiful nail polish and it's so stunning on the eyes again kind of like a thicker sticky metallic that's just so intense doesn't look heavy or creepy and i love this one so that would be my number seven coming in at number six the rest of these are like mostly neutrals not quite as colorful which is again every day kind of my go-to but i do i'm my soul has been feeling fulfilled while looking at bright colors lately. But my number six would be the Artist Couture Supreme Bronze Supreme Nudes Palette. Love this so much, just for like a neutral nude palette. It is such a staple comfort palette, very easy to just, don't even have to think about it, can create a beautiful look. Love it for work, love it for travel, love it for every day. Love the packaging, you guys know. Some of my top ones, I'm like, I feel like a broken record because I've been talking about these palettes for year, years and I can't think of like new descriptors. Like I, I haven't used a thesaurus since like my college years, but let me tell you guys, I used to be obsessed with a thesaurus as well as thesaurus.com. I thought I was so educated and like 
fancy and just whatever there goes my camera battery <laughs> because i would like thesaurus new words and i'd be like oh my gosh i sound so smart i literally went out of my way to purchase a freaking like actual thesaurus like a a book that i carried in my backpack how stupid is that because i never like actually opened my like hard copy of a thesaurus i always went to thesaurus.com so dumb should i switch my camera right right now or wait for my camera to actually shut up i'm gonna switch it now i'm irritated as i said i would be okay if i've moved a little you know why <laughs> um coming in at number five natasha denona gold need i say more i've talked about this palette a lot i know you can't get it anymore so i don't want to like rave about it but it's such a good one it's so good <laughs> it's so good so many different great like literally the best matte brown shades with different like tones love it love these two like green shades we got a good gold over here it's just such a solid one i'm so glad that i bought this i remember when this first released i was like who would literally ever buy that like all of the matte brown shades look the same but no 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 they are different and this is such a good palette to have in case you guys are wondering number four is gonna be another natasha denona palette and then also number three is i did break up um rather than just choosing one from literally every natasha palette i owned i broke it up into like large natasha midi and then mini um so coming at number four i haven't even used this palette yet but i just know i just know that the yuka palette is going to be a new favorite it looks like a safari freaking dream like i feel like i need to like have like one of those like khaki bucket hats and just like be riding a giraffe which i don't even think you can ride a giraffe um but i don't even know what to like i'm literally so excited i'm gonna play with this tomorrow i don't know why i didn't oh i didn't play with it today because i had to use the blue shades in this palette in order to have used every shade um which i want to do in order to review this and i'm trying to finish using some of my palettes so that i will have them ready to review in my mid-year ranking of every palette that i purchased this year so that's why i had to finish finish that palette if you will okay coming in at number three my top three i'm like i could interchange i mean i could interchange many of these palettes all the same but number three is a palette that i have repurchased I love this palette so much. It's the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. Just such a... Uh, I could literally close my eyes and create a look with this palette and I would love it. I love this palette so much. If I'm ever in a rush, if I am like going to work and then doing something after work, which has literally happened like two times in my entire life, I bring this palette with so that I can like redo my makeup. Um, and it's just, it's such an easy palette to create a look that looks like you took time and effort to do your makeup, but really it took you like three minutes. So i love that palette you it can take you from day to night you can do like really light to really sultry and it's so stunning number two is my kaleidos sashimi city palette another neutral gals dream i love this so much these two sparkly shades are literally so sparkly just like it's it's almost unfair because you literally like pop them on the lid and every time i wear the sparkly shades someone is like oh my gosh like your makeup looks so stunning like what shade is that what palette is that um so it feels like cheating because it's just so easy like i literally do one or two matte shades then pop on a shimmer and it looks so good love that palette would be so devastated to not have that in my collection and then my number one you guys is my ColourPop limoncello palette and the reason this one is that is like ranking above like the t like at the top of the top five is because i feel like this one offers me the most variety like there's just a lot of variety in like a palette that kind of looks maybe like boring and neutral like i know there's like a pop of blue but you also have like a pop of yellow you have a yellow shimmer you have a green and it's just such good quality i take this uh, palette traveling with me literally anytime i travel and i could bring just this palette and be happy so my number one out of all the palettes that i would keep if i could only keep one is my ColourPop lemon cello palette and that is going to wrap it up for today's ranking video today's palette video i hope that you guys enjoyed i would love to know if you disagree with any of my rankings or you know maybe tell me some of your favorite or least favorite palettes in the comments down below thank you guys so much for supporting me as you always do i love you so much and i will catch you in tomorrow's video bye